farmers, they have an interest in sustainability. But what's been lacking historically for growers is having the data and the tools that they need to be able to do that well. And that's the reason we're so excited to work with farmers to give them the guidance that'll help them succeed. I'm Tyler. I'm Adam. And we're the co-founders of Agrology. We started Agrology in 2019. We'd been kicking around the idea of how do we use a lot of different sensors and machine learning and sensor fusion to deliver predictive insights to our growers to thrive in a changing climate. Traditionally, growers, they try and do these predictions themselves, but they can't be on every inch of every farm every day. They also have to deal with a climate that's changing on them that makes every year harder and less predictable. Our first proof of concept, it definitely experienced some failures in the field that first year. It ranged from stuff like a small hole would let in moisture, and then the batteries would short out. And then, of course, there's the inevitable tractor rolled through the farm mowing and just shredded everything. So it was a really fast cycle of iteration development that was great. I mean, all this was going on at the same time while we were working on, uh, on the software in the back end. We use TensorFlow and Google Cloud to train the models that take our data streams and turn it into predictions for our customers. The aha moment for us was when we first saw the results and predictions for the first growing season. That was huge. We talked to probably 75 growers across the country and really tried to understand the problems they faced. In 2020, we had a fire that was all of 10 miles away from our exact vineyard. We were in the middle of harvest, so we started picking grapes that night. Smoke can actually turn wine into what tastes like a barbecue sauce. But there was no data telling us if the amount of smoke that night would affect our grapes. In late winter, Agrology reached out and asked if there was a need for smoke taint analysis in the vineyard. So I was just tickled pink. So Tyler and I jumped onto Google Earth so we can understand the terrain. We could look at weather patterns and see how smoke and fog had accumulated in different parts of their vineyards and caused challenges. And then we had to think about where we could put our devices in their fields to deliver them insights. Our app takes data from our sensor arrays in the soil and in the air, and it runs it through our machine learning models to make predictions to warn farmers about problems before they emerge. The synthetic models we generate, the forecast models we generate, it's just impossible without TensorFlow, without Google Cloud, taking all the data from every block, from every site, and forecasting that three to four days out. That's just something that you're not going to be able to duplicate with a single human being. If there's a fire in the area, the app allows us to find out exactly how it's going to affect the vines. In addition to that, we have nano climates where it's 95 degrees in one spot versus where it's 110. So you'll see a difference in how the vines grow from one side to the other. Agrology allows me to focus acre by acre in terms of heat and moisture dew points to adjust what I need to do as a farming practice. Mary is out here that are just getting started. Before Agrology, I utilized the uh, encyclopedia of my dad. Being a vineyard manager for 40 years, he's seen everything that you can possibly see but we just don't have the same climate we used to. Technology allows us to continue to push forward so the vineyards outlast us. We would love for these vineyards to last 100 years. 